Hi, this is Nick from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. And let's go Pens! Yes. We're styling this morning. Good morning, Chevy. Morning, Frank. Morning, Wiener. Diesel. Morning, Diesel. Good boy. It's Monday morning. It's, uh, we have an appointment in Winnipeg for the IVF procedure. It's called a lipid infusion uh, for Britt. I'll let her explain it later, maybe. Uh, we've got to get into Winnipeg for 9.45. That's when it starts. And apparently this procedure takes a few hours. So I'll be waiting down in the husband's parking lot for a little while. I've got to remember to bring my phone with me so I have something to do. This whole area of our yard that was flooded is now slowly growing back. That in the corner has never really grown that well. That used to be a flower bed back here. And then I took the flower bed out. And grass never really took in this area. I've sort of just been letting this tree grow here, but we're gonna have to be careful because uh, all the wires up there. We may have to transplant this tree. There she goes. This is a natural medicine clinic. What that means exactly, I have no idea. I uh, didn't get a chance to uh, vlog with her yet before she went in. Maybe we'll uh, see how it went when she gets back, but I'll, I'll give you guys a little rundown. So they, uh, it's gonna take two hours here and they inject her with uh, some kind of natural medicine that uh, will prevent her body from rejecting the embryo. We have two embryos frozen. For those of you who are new, we're going through the IVF process here. A little bit of behind the scenes Trucker Josh vlogging today at home. Well, not just a trucker. Uh, we're going through this process to have our first baby. And uh, we're almost there. We're almost at this point. It's been a very long, very expensive journey, but uh, we're getting close. So they're going to inject her with this. Takes two hours. Uh, it sort of shuts off her immune system, which sounds a little bit scary, uh, but they give her antibiotics. So her body won't reject the embryo when they implant it in about a week or two. And uh, the antibiotics sort of just work to replace the immune system in the time being said, so she doesn't get any infections or anything because uh, her body's sort of going to be shut off for fighting things off. So the antibiotics help that. That's all I can really tell you. That's all I really know. I'm the dude, so my job is pretty easy. Um, but she has had to go to hell and back through this process. And any of you out there who have gone through the IVF process or know somebody or, you know, it's a pretty common thing. It's kind of a taboo thing for some reason to talk about, but I decided to go into it on my channel here and bring you guys along for this journey just to sort of break that stigma a little bit because there's nothing really taboo about it this this happens this this is a, something that a lot of couples are going through nowadays and the reasons for all the infertility around the world well that's probably a topic for a whole different vlog because i don't know i'm not a doctor i'm not a scientist but it is an issue so uh maybe it was an issue before as well and we just didn't know because we didn't have the technology and stuff to know but nowadays with modern medicine and science and 
technology. It's amazing what we can do and how we understand the human body. It's uh, been a huge learning process for me. I've uh, I've really I was gonna say I, I enjoyed learning all of this, but uh, it's my my part's pretty easy. I can't really talk on it. But after this two-hour appointment here, apparently uh, she's full can expect minor symptoms, nothing like the last procedure, which was very painful for her, so she shouldn't be in that much pain. And I believe this is the last appointment before the, uh, what they call the transfer, where the implant, the embryo, that's frozen, I think. No, we have an ultrasound, but those don't really count. They're just ultrasounds, just checking on things. And this appointment here is about $1,200 Canadian, so around a thousand bucks American. This whole process, of IVF from start to finish uh, is running us about twenty thousand dollars. If you're if you're wondering, Philzy, who are thinking, hey, maybe we'll go through the IVF. I encourage you go for it, do your research. But here in Manitoba, anyways, they were very vague about the price and the schedule and what all happens. We had to do a lot of research ourselves, learn ourselves, and learn as we go. We were kind of disappointed with the amount of information, the lack of information we got. So that's why I'm sharing it with you guys now. So you know what to expect. Prices are different in every region of the world. Manitoba has their own uh, process. We can actually claim this on our taxes in Manitoba and get a lot of it back. So it sounds like a big chunk of money, but a lot of it does come back to us through tax returns and tax benefits, which is very nice. Other places don't have that. Uh, other provinces in Canada, prices are different. Clinics are different. This is all private health care. This isn't a part of our public Canadian health care. So we pay for it all out of pocket. Uh, not everything is covered in Canada by our health care. Uh, this wouldn't be considered basic necessity health care. So uh, this is all out of pocket. So we're getting a good taste of what the Americans go through every time they go to the doctor, right? Forking over money every time they go see a doctor. I know how you feel now. Huh? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Enough talking for now. I'm going to wait for her to come out of here. I'm just sitting here uh, on, in the husband's parking lot on the street here. This is a different clinic than the one we usually go to. So uh, a little bit of different scenery for me at least here. You guys want to see where we're at? This is in St. Boniface on Desmuron Street. Or as the French say, Desmuron. That's how they say it, exactly like that. I actually went to high school in this neighborhood. So it uh, feels at home to me. Oh, they're redoing that building there, cool. Or maybe they're taking it down, I don't know. So I'll talk to you soon. And just so you know, I do feel kind of weird uh, being the one to explain all of these uh, procedures to you because it's not me that's going through it. I keep reminding you guys of that. Uh, I prefer it when Britt explains it, but she's uh, not as big into YouTube as I am. She doesn't mind being in my vlogs. She she likes it, but uh, I'm more of the, the camera geek guy. I'm, I'm the guy who likes to talk to the camera more often, so very often it's me sort of explaining things because this is, this is what I do. This is sort of my job to talk to a camera every day. Uh, it's what I've been doing for 11 years now, so I'm a little bit more used to it. But it's not that she doesn't want to talk to you guys, don't worry. I, I try to include her as much as possible. She loves being in the vlogs. Uh, I always, it's usually my fault. I, I forget to take out the camera when I'm with her because I'm just enjoying being with her. And then when I'm by myself in the car like this, I get bored. And what do I do when I'm bored? Oh, I film myself doing silly things or talking about stuff. Anyways, uh, let's wait till she comes out of here and I'll let you, uh, I'll let her tell you how it went and how she's feeling and then we'll have more of a timeline because tomorrow morning we have an ultrasound and then I, I think I think after that is the transfer but that's not the final that's not the final one either there's like a whole host of appointments after that this is a huge process huge process and we've been in this now for oh years years so yeah I'll stop yapping I'll stop yapping See you in a bit. So we had some good news. It was a lot cheaper than we thought it would be. A thousand dollars cheaper. I read it wrong. Like 98% <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> Oops. Got the war wound. Yeah. Yep. Usually things are more expensive than we expect them to be. Yeah. So we just anticipate a thousand dollars more and then we're pleasantly surprised when it's less. Yeah. So it was only what? 200 bucks? 190? 190 dollars even. Nice. Yeah. And how are you feeling? Good. Fine. Yeah. Normal. 
Yeah, uh, she said uh, less than 1% of people get flu-like symptoms and she's only ever had one client who got sick the next day but can't guarantee that it was this because she doesn't know what she ate or drank or what have you. So. Alright, so when's our next appointment other than the ultrasound tomorrow? After the ultrasound tomorrow, when's our next appointment? Um, or do we find out tomorrow? So it was me and a group of women going for IVF transfers in IVF cycles. And it, according to the one lady who has gone for transfers before, uh, she said it sounds like Monday would probably be the egg transfer. Next Monday? Yeah. A week from today? Yeah. Okay. Probably. So we'll see for sure tomorrow. They'll, t they'll look at my lining, make sure it's good, make sure I don't need any extra drugs. And then we are set. Okay. And then we're transferring a little five day old embryo in there. Wow, it's coming up quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. One more week. Yeah. Really yeah. nice place though. If you ever need a infusion or anything, anything homeopathic, go to Via Natural Medicine here in St. Boniface. It's really, really nice. Really nice staff team too. Very clean. So clean. I was very impressed. Got new covers for our chairs. Stopped by Walmart on our way home. Picked those up. They're going to replace these covers. Hopefully they fit. Hopefully they fit. And if not, then we'll bring them back. Our trees have become home of the crows. A whole murder of them. Every day. You know, crows are very intelligent. If I start feeding them, they'll start befriending me. But then they won't go away. This is our project for this afternoon. Like I told you last week, we have to get rid of these today. No more redneck backyard brush. Actually, I can get rid of some of that old wood there too. Bring it all over. Bring it all the way. Just swung by the shop here. Say hello to Old Blue. Pick up a few things. Hi. Show me your new trick. Very nice. Very nice, Old Blue. It's looking pretty. Installed these the other day, if you missed that video. Minor detail, but makes a big difference. My next thing is uh, I have new horns to put on here. And I also have breather air cleaner lights, uh, which get attached to the top of this air cleaner here. And then they glow down and they make this whole thing glow. It'll be amber. The previous owner had them already and uh, he just gave them to me with the truck. Now these will be good. Eventually, what does this say? Dual function. I could make this into a signal as well. What do you guys think of that? Uh, I don't know if I like that idea, but what do you guys think? I could hook it up to the signals and the marker lights so that going down like the road, my air cleaners could flash like blinkers. Like they'd, they'd be the marker lights, just like everything else. But when I turn my signals on, it would be like these lights. They'd get brighter, you know, so that they would be signals. <laughs> I think it would look kind of silly. Kind of funny doing that, but I'll get your opinions on it. If enough people think that it would look good. I mean, I could make my air cleaners flash along with my signals. I think I'm just gonna leave them as marker lights, but eventually we're changing out the amber anyways. I just got these ambers along with the truck, so I may as well install them. Uh, but eventually we're changing them to those, those dual bulbs where uh, when I flick that switch, all my lights will go blue. That's gonna be like a party trick when I go to a truck show. It's gonna be real cool. Or when I park at the truck stop, you know, this nice W9 rolls in beside you and you're like, wow, nice truck. And then I'll be like, <laughs> all the lights will turn blue and everyone will be, ooh. Yeah, that's the, that's the, it's <laughs> the effect I'm going for. Everybody goes, ooh, would you look at that? But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Lots to do. Lots of lights to add to this thing, yep. Uh, once we get these breather air lights in here, making this glow, I also want the line of ambers up at the front and reds at the back. That'll be another thing. 
I have these horns over here from Mr. Bruce Kimmel. He said I could mention them. Thank you very much. It's a housewarming gift for Old Blue. That's for the kids. So when they give me the arm pump, I'm going to deliver. They're going to remember me. Oh, it's always raining. Raining. It's going to be a rainforest soon. Look at that, eh? No old appliances. We no longer look at that redneck. Just a little bit. Not, not, not a lot, just a little bit. At least we got those out of the yard now. And uh, yeah, that's that. So not too much of a vlog today, but the appointment went well for Britt today. We've just been sitting at home watching some TV, getting some stuff done. Tomorrow we have another ultrasound. She has another ultrasound appointment in Winnipeg that I'm going with her to. And uh, Oh, we do have some good news, though. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you inside with Britt. They're going to let me up in the room for the transfer. Hopefully next week. Yay! So, so I actually get to be there when our child is conceived. Like a normal husband. Most husbands are there when their child is conceived. In a different kind of way, but... Yeah. This counts, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was her joke. She told me it before I stole your joke. <laughs> That's okay. I steal a lot of her jokes. A lot of my jokes come from her. <laughs> I just say them on the internet. How did the appointment go? You feeling good? Yeah, I feel fine. Mm. Normal. Good. So I told them you have another ultrasound in the morning. Uh, and then they'll tell us then when the transfer will be in. I think so. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Getting close. Anyways, thanks for watching today, everybody. And we'll... See you tomorrow. We might be heading out on the road tomorrow after the appointment. I don't have a load yet, so we'll uh, have to wait and see.